So today let's talk about uh, script now for Jira. I'm making a video on script now for Jira after after quite a while. I think it has been a few weeks. And uh, I'm looking at this question today from Shrikant Maheshwari. And uh, Shrikant is asking about this interesting use case where he's looking for a script where he wants to change the status of the linked issues. Now, if I read the question, I'll probably focus on the important bits. So he's saying that he has two projects. One is uh, for development and the other one is for the release project. He's looking for a script where uh, whenever all the issues in release project are maybe resolved or done, he wants to also transition the issues in the dev uh, project. Um, and and this is of course based on the issue link. So he's looking for a script and he has tried few scripts, but uh, but he's saying that none of them are working. So I thought I'll probably, uh, in this video, I'll not really write a script that will do exactly this because I have already a lot of scripts that can uh, that can do it. Now, if you look if if you look at this use case, there are a few things that uh, are happening, and we have to of course break uh, this uh, uh, requirement into various uh, uh, various parts. So, starting with of course uh, the linked issues. So, you have to first make sure that you're able to fetch, you're able to uh, get the linked issues from one issue to another issue, of course. And when you're working with linked issues, then you have to make sure that uh, you're using the right type and you're also using the proper direction. So this direction is also very important because if you're using, let us say, get inward issues or get outward issues. So if you, if you have something like get inward issue, then I think uh, you will get all the issues, but uh, uh, you have to then use the uh, I believe the source or the target. So basically based on the direction, you have to use the right method. And that uh, that, that is of course based on the uh, on the link type and the direction. So make sure you know how to how to work with the linked issues. And then when you have the issues with you, let us say you're working on, let us say you have identified one or multiple issues and you have to make a transition. And for transitioning, uh, it is uh, obviously possible, but the main thing here is that uh, you have to use the right transition, uh, relevant transition in your script. So basically, when you make a transition, you have to use action ID, and uh, you have to uh, make sure that it is relevant. Uh, and uh, there is a relevant transition. And if you want to, of course, learn these things, I have uh, covered uh, uh, examples uh, in my in a lot of examples in my in my video series of uh, Scriptner. I have I think more than 100 videos. Yes, definitely more than 100 videos on uh, Scriptner. Just to give you some background, in this case, what you need to do, you have to maybe write a listener. You can maybe do it using a post function. So whenever you make uh, uh, make a transition on your linked issue, or let, let us say you have five issues linked to one development or release activity. And whenever you make a transition to, let us say, done, you can check if all the issues under a specific release are also uh, done. If yes, then uh, maybe go to the linked issue and transition it. Or you can also write a listener, I believe. So uh, both there are both possibilities. But if you want to learn how to how to work with Scriptner and you're trying to understand uh, these things, like uh, maybe maybe you're trying to figure out uh, how to work with linked issues, how to transition the issues, and maybe if you're trying to learn listeners or post functions. So let me start by uh, showing you this page. If you go to my website ravisagar.in, then you go to you can go to courses, and then you can click on mastering script now for Jira. Of course, all these videos are free. You can uh, of course uh, click on these videos and enjoy the learning. But if you just want to focus on, let us say, linked issues. So if you search on this page, so you will find something like automatically comment on linked issues, which is of course one script. Uh, you have create comments on linked issues display linked issues on customer portal and uh, fetch linked issues and what else script condition based on linked issues status and uh, and that is it uh, so this this is all about linked issues so you have plenty of examples if you want to do something with uh, uh, what else transition let me search for transition so if you search for transition let me just go to the very top and I'm trying to show you I have so many examples if you watch my videos and you can learn a lot of things so Change transition colors using custom CSS. Okay, maybe not this one. Script condition to show transition screen. 
transition issue to change status. So this is the one that you need to watch. Write database on a workflow, write to a database on a workflow transition. Uh, make comments required on transition. Restrict workflow transition. Transition when comment is added. And uh, and I think uh, there are a lot of examples. If you want to learn something about listeners, so you can also learn about listeners. Or definitely uh, on my on my video playlist, listeners based on issue move. Listeners to add comment. Listeners to create a subtask automatically. Sync project versions using listener. Listener based on issue move. Oh yeah, I think that is it. And I'm sure I have post functions, a lot of videos on post functions. Modify somebody using post function, post function to update project role and uh, post function order, post function and with conditions. So there are so many examples. And, uh, and what I'm trying to say is that if you ask a question on the community and if you are saying that you have tried uh, scripts, some scripts already, then please share your script so that uh, someone can definitely uh, point uh, quickly point out to you that where exactly is the problem because there are a lot of people who will and can uh, help you. So do give it a try and uh, and I'm do, I'm of course uh, trying to give you some hints uh, by sharing my my thoughts on this on how you can tackle this problem. So that is all I wanted to talk about and share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.